<laughs> Alright guys, Yakpack and I are here inside of uh, Walmart. We have an empty shopping cart which we plan to fill with every single topwater fishing lure inside of Walmart. We actually did a challenge like this before and we bought everything. No, that was crazy. That was insane. It was insane. The only bad part about that, I'll leave a link down below if you guys haven't seen that one if you want to watch it after this video, was that obviously we can't fish with every single one of these lures in one video. That's why I'm excited about the topwater lures is because we're buying all the topwater lures and I'll be able to use topwater fishing lures the whole entire video, which is going to be super cool. Anyways, uh, shoot, where should we start? Should we start with the frogs? Yeah, frogs right here. Mini frogs. Got love in minis. Oh, I caught that. I was looking at the camera. That was, I'm glad you caught that. that was, <laughs> like, we were going to play that off, but that was a good catch. Guys, first frog to go into the carts of mini frogs. So, guys, here is a look at all the frogs. And sometimes, you know, you never know which frog you want. So, you might as well get all of them so when you're out in the water. That solves every problem. If you don't yep. know which one you want, buy one of everything. Sweet. If you guys are actually buying frogs, it makes zero sense. Unless you're filming a YouTube video where you buy every single frog, it makes zero sense to buy all of them. Look at the bottom of the frogs. I'm sure you've heard every YouTuber say that. Look for like a white, a green, and a black. No, I really only fish with white bottom frogs and black bottom frogs. And I fish with black when it's sunny outside, white when it's cloudy outside. Which might be wrong, but that's what I do. That's and I could be too. doing it wrong the whole entire time. I've told myself that's how I'm supposed to do it and it seems to work. But maybe you're supposed to do the opposite way. I think I'm right. Could be wrong. I think, I think you're Let right. me know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Whatever is contrasting with the sky is how you guys can remember it. So a white bottom frog would contrast with like dark clouds, but a bright blue sky would contrast really well with like a black bottom frog. Yeah. So think about that in your conditions and maybe even halfway through the day, you know, a cloud goes by and now it's sunny, switch up your frog. It probably doesn't even matter that much anyways, but unless you're fishing like a full on like pressured lake, then yeah, maybe it'll matter. It but for ponds, I don't think they're gonna care if it's don't pink, make it green. Complicated. Yeah, anyways, okay, boom. <laughs> we need all the Walmart frogs. Get all the frogs. Dude, these things for $1.94, I've got some big fish on these. Walmart frogs, like they're not necessarily like the best, but they get the job done. You know what I mean? Facts. So all these will go in the cart. Dude, I think the frogs with the tails or with the legs on them have super cool action. But the problem is they come off so easy yeah, never been that like, place. we gotta get them for yeah, the yeah, challenge. You gotta get them yep. you gotta... Oh, it's me. It's, it's your you. boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Yeah, so Yak Pack saw these, uh, these buzz baits down here on a, actually, a reel I've never seen inside of Walmart ever before. Like, I've never seen this display. Maybe we should buy the whole display. Put it in the buggy, see if they'll let us take it. Some of them That's are spinner baits, some of them are buzz baits. So get one of each color. This don't even have a hook on it. Oh yeah, it does. The whole $1 special. <laughs> I imagine that's probably gonna work. Oh, look at that Pretty one, good. orange and that's, blue. Uh, that's yeah, I know crazy. you like orange and blue. Yeah, sir. Oh, that's crazy looking. That's insane. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's not, that fits my style right there. Guys, what do you think about the dollar section of Walmart and the dollar spinner baits and buzz baits? Like, let me know because my first spinnerbait and my first buzzbait fish were both on one dollar spinnerbaits and buzzbaits. I want to know if you guys catch anything on them too, or That's if you all. think it's worth buying a, a more expensive one. That's all she wrote. It's the only three color buzzbaits I got. We got the green one. Oh snap. We got the orange one. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. We got the white one. Oh snap. <laughs> There's some things I say that I don't realize until I yeah. edit videos. Dollar buzz baits. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go ahead and have zero confidence in these. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Guys, we might get away with spending not that much money today for buying every top of the lure. I thought we were gonna spend a lot. But uh, I mean, still obviously it's gonna be a good amount of money. Oh yeah, of course. We're getting away with really good prices, I feel like. This one has three blades on this buzz bait. I think it's gonna be loud. So we were here, yes. so we gotta keep up. Oh, my favorites. Oh, dude, I'm, I should have known. Guys, comment down below your favorite topwater lure. Mine, probably walking bait, then popper, then frog. That would be my top three. Poppers, when they blow up on it, it, I don't know what it is. It's just so much fun. Are those the only two poppers they have in Walmart? No way. Well, they, see? Oh, no, here's a silver one. Oh, yeah, grab one's there. That, that, that's, that's what I would fire, use. That's yeah, what I would use that one, too. Guys, whenever you're in your Walmarts, you got to check behind to make sure they're not hiding any good lures. Hey, somebody was hiding that last one. They were yeah. coming back to get it tonight. <laughs> dude, we have so many topwater lures. Oh, my gosh watch it be like this one it's gonna be this one that catches a 10 or like a six or something stupid <laughs> and then like the one you would think it would catch all the fish catches nothing like probably that. it only dives 25 feet perfect that's close for, to the top perfect for every <laughs> pond fisherman yes yeah, close to the top if you count backwards <laughs> so guys i think it would only be fair because i said i'm buying every single topwater lure to include saltwater in that category, it seems like every single saltwater lure in this Walmart is a topwater, which is it's kind of scaring me. But saltwater topwater lures, I think for bass would be super good too because they make them stronger, they make them louder. Like, I think that could be a lot of fun. And there's nothing like walking a very loud walking bait that just gets 
me super excited. Even if I don't catch anything, at least I can entertain myself. And Look at this, dude. Have you ever used a chug bug? I know these things were really, really big, probably back when you were winning like uh, all the championships and stuff. Yeah, in, in, the, in, the, in the early 80s, early to mid 80s, when I was winning all the regional championships, uh, I was always winning. Actually, matter of fact, let me see if it's got the, the actual one. Where's it at? This one. <laughs> this is the one that I won. Uh, 82, 83, uh, missed 84. I, I didn't really feel too good that day in 85. Yeah, 82, 83, 85. That's the one I was using. It's a secret weapon. I'm telling you. You give it a little, you give it a little pop, 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 pause, pop, 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 pause, and then a double pop and a pop. You know what's so, time. dude, I've never used chug bugs, but I feel like they're so good. I just they're haven't insanely used them. good. They're insanely good for offshore fish. I think that's what these are. For. Actually, they are saltwater hooks. They're yeah. insanely good for offshore fish. I don't know for bass, though. But if I was a bass, especially like a four, five, six pounder, I'm eating that. <laughs> it's chrome on the bottom. I'm definitely eating that. Guys, I guess we're grabbing one of each chug bug. This actually kind of is a cool color. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that blue one's crazy, The too. blue one's nuts. If I had to pick a color, though, that, I don't know what it is about that one. Just imagine throwing this. Dude, this would 100% get eaten like no joke. Yeah. Imagine throwing it in a, a baiting school, school of bait, baiting school of bait fish. School and bait of bait schools. That's $21, by the way. That's over 100 bucks. <laughs> so guys, right here, we have a massive top water, my favorites. I'd probably be throwing something like this probably all day. Like these are my favorites of all time. It even says trout, redfish, tarpon, snook, striper. Does not have bass anywhere on there, but I'm gonna try to catch a big bass on this today, hopefully. Um, guys, we are finally nearing the end. We gotta grab, uh, I guess, all of these yak pack. These are our top water, right? Uh, dude, I think that these look so cool. That it kind of hurts your eyes a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, 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 look at this one. Though. Look at the, this, the shapes in it, too. That's crazy I've looking. I've got so many fish on that, and there's actually really? one that they make that's like a bluegill pattern, which they don't have here, but that one looks really cool, too. So for $7.96, guys, we're gonna grab one of every single one of these. Holy smokes. And yeah, this is gonna get pricey real quick. I that boy finna Saltwater section pockets. is pretty expensive. Yeah. Cool. Wow. All right, guys, so we have all of the top water fishing lures in Walmart. My guess probably gonna be around 200 or so dollars. Easy. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go check this stuff out. Then, uh, then go fishing. I think this is gonna be more than both of us think it's gonna be. Yeah, I'm. Ex I'm scared because some of those were like nine dollars each, and there was like seven different colors. A lot of topwater lures, but you know, I was needing some topwater lures anyway, so it works out perfectly. Let's go. <laughs> oh, careful, careful, careful! I pulled a hammy. You boys getting old. <laughs> We're here at the lake with absolutely massive bass in it. Overcast day, absolutely beautiful. And you guys know the big bass, especially topwater bass, love to eat those frogs and crazy vegetation, which we have today. I'm super excited. Look at this. On the boat trailer, this is what those bass are gonna be hiding in, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Josh and I, a couple years ago, have caught some massive fish. And it's either hit or miss out here. You'll come out here and catch a ton of big bass or you come out here and catch absolutely nothing. It's one of those hidden gems, and I think today we're gonna get on some of those big bass. Well, this morning, I think what I'm gonna start with is the uh, the top dog. This thing is absolutely massive, actually made for salt water, but we're gonna try to use it for bass today because some of the bass out here can be the size of some of the saltwater fish, so. Something big and annoying in the morning, try to chase that big bite, see how it goes. All right, Josh, what are you throwing this morning? Top water frog. Popping frog? Yep. I think that means I'm gonna start with the big old walking bait right here. Throw two different things, see what these bass are kind of chasing after. We got some big bass lures on, guys. Now it's just a matter of getting bit. Ooh, off that point? Come on. Oh my gosh, tank, dude. Oh my god. I don't know if you saw that or not. Dude, absolute behemoth. <laughs> They're out here. They're out here. He just missed it. Or he had it, but I, I don't even know, honestly. Oh! Yes, Josh, yes, 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 yes! Let's go! You're gonna the net. Still. <laughs> that was awesome. Here you go. Hey, that gets us on the board. Let's go. Yes, sir. First one on the speed worm on the top. That's awesome, dude. That's already like, what, third blow up? 
Second blow up? Yeah, third. That's our third bite of the day. First fish. <laughs> we gotta improve on that ratio a little bit. Oh, you got one, you got one. <laughs> Dude, he's coming. Look at how chunky that is. That is a very well-fed boy right there. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Number two. The Jewish. Very nice. There we go. All I want is Big Sally to say what's up. Like the mats, dude, were ever, and all this is unfishable right here. We're fishing right now. Oh, you just got bit. Oh, did I? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my, oh my gosh, he pulled off. Oh, we got it again. What in, get him. Got him, holy cow, holy cow. He ate it three times, dude. I think it's nice, Josh, you might need to get the net. Oh, it's a nice one, it's a nice one, it's a nice one, yes. Holy cow, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's freaking go! Let's look in the other way! I heard a fish jump out there. That is a tank, and he came back for it three times. Guys, uh, so Zade is helping us film all these videos. New camera guy, and this is definitely the biggest fish he's ever seen. I'm glad I could, uh, I could show this off for him, but Zade has never even fished before. And just so you know, Zade, this is probably a five or six pounder. That is bigger than some people's biggest bass of all time. And we're, we're blessed here in Florida to have the opportunity to go out to a public lake like this. And that's why we throw those big top waters. We've been fishing for a long time, but eventually the bass will make it worth it for you. Holy Dang cow. It. That is awesome. Do you have a skill? <sighs> nah, never do. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All day, probably like five and a half. My guess would be six, but uh, I mean, bare minimum five and a half pounder right there. Beautiful green bass. You know, the darker the bass is, the more they're hanging out in vegetation. And this whole lake is vegetation. So beautiful green Florida bass right here. Came three times for the top. I can't even believe it. Came up three times for the top water. Mind blowing. Not every Very day does a five pounder bass. come three times for your top water lure. So we're gonna go ahead, let her go. Josh, I'm itching for another top water bite, dude. What do you got on? You got the fluke? Wormy? Well, I'm kind of using it like subsurface. Yeah, oh, look at that. I don't know if, oh yeah, that was a duck, never mind. Like, I mean, if I work my worm like that, I'm gonna see a swirl or something. That sun's starting to come out. I don't like it. Go back behind the clouds. We got more topwater fish to catch. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude. Big and I think, big and get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh my gosh, holy cow. Stay pinned, stay pinned, baby. What a freaking day, dude. What a freaking day. I don't know how big he is, but he blew up on it like a big one. Let him do his thing. He's got one hook in him, it looks like, and he's shaking. It's like a good two pounder, probably. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I about fell out the boat. <laughs> Holy cow. <clears throat> yeah, get, get that top water lure on, Josh. Let's go. Dude, he blew up on a thing like when he first blew up on it. I can't even explain it to you. He scared me. Look at that fish right there, guys. That's a healthy Florida bass. Super green. Can't beat. <laughs> you just can't beat it. Let's go, guys. That was epic. We're gonna let her go. No, I don't like the way you Oh, oh my gosh. Splash zone. That was one aggressive fish, dude. Wow. If a two pounder puts a fight up like that, I don't even know if I want to catch the 10. Holy. I'll let Josh reel on the 10. Isn't that right, Josh? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Everybody comment to remind Josh when he lost a big fish with the live bait if you guys saw that video guys the biggest bass i've seen in my whole entire life josh missed it so spoiler alert for the last video go check it out <laughs> all right well while you're tying up i'm gonna keep on casting if you don't mind dude i'm loving all this that we're around too i'm excited dude everything around you're like we couldn't even take a wrong turn over here everything looks so good it's not nice thing about winter too is it doesn't i feel like the time of day doesn't matter as much in the winter like in summer like right now we wouldn't be catching anything you know it's just, it would be so hot, but no, it like makes it more fishable conditions like all day long. If like one animal could not like exist on a lake, it would be a bird. A I, bird? Yeah, cause they, they'll splash around and you'll think something's going on like fish activity wise. And it's, take mosquitoes? Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good, that's a valid point. I'd probably rather get rid of mosquitoes. Yeet. Yeah. And there's a, holy cow. Did you get that? Oh, oh, that was, oh, I missed him, I missed him. <gasps> Got him that time. Stucky that time, sucker. <laughs> oh, he's in the grass, in the grass. Dude, they are on fire today. 
No, don't go to the mat. Oh, I got him up on the edge. Up here, he's coming, he's coming. We're good, we're good. He came dolphin diving out of the water. No, he's he's decent now. I think we're actually good, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh holy cow. That's crazy, dude. The lure's that big and he comes after it four times. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Big old bass, well, I mean, two and a half pounder, but the big old top water. That might have even been more than one fish. This fish came up for it five times. On the fifth time, he finally grabbed it. That's crazy. Getting deep up here in these mats, throwing these walking baits in between. Doesn't get much better than that. All right. See you, buddy. Thank you. You never want to leave when they're biting like that, dude. Like, we caught so many fish, but I still want more. Guys, so the reason topwater is so awesome out here is because the grass grows really high up and there's only a few foot of water that you can fish. So, so all we've been throwing today is obviously the topwater and like little weightless worms, flukes, and speed worms, and even working those on top of the water. This is really the perfect spot to catch some big fish on top. It's looking dangerous up in here, dude. Looking dangerous. I just got that gut feeling, Josh, that we're about to hook something big. As long as I don't hook the lily pads, we might have a shot at them. Ooh, that little cast in the lane getting dangerous. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Josh, the big ones are biting, dude. Oh yeah, it's, it's big, it's nice. Yes, sir, Josh. Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. He's not <laughs> he's not 20 pounds or anything, but that's still a tank. With all that grass, he was heavy, man. Was that on the buzz bait too? Yeah. Oh my. He did one top water fish, so. Dude, oh that's bigger than I thought it was. It was like taking the wrapping off of a present right dude, there. He started pulling drag. Dude, that's one good fish. Congrats, bro. Look at that. Holy Boy. cow. Look at that, boys and girls. That's a buzz bait too. We yeah. switched it up. Well, uh, I couldn't let you catch them all on top water with that. <laughs> so. That's nice, dude. That's a healthy one. Three pounder. Going back to the depths. I'm gonna get my lure back in the water. Don't mind me. Oh, we got it. Got him. He's going under the mat. Oh, come on. Oh, he's in there, dude. I don't know how big he is. <laughs> come here. Another one on top water. Dude, this is oh, it's too much fun. Little guy, little guy, little guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how small and fat this one is. We watched him eat a dragonfly, like absolutely blow up on it. Yeah, no trolling motor, just powering up the main motor and floating wherever the wind takes us. And it's taking us to these bats, guys. That is, this is gonna be a day I remember, dude. There's so many topwater blow ups out here. Like this is one of the good days. And normally seven out of 10 times out here, it's a bad day, but we, uh, we hit it on one of the good ones, guys. That is awesome. Boom. See you, buddy. <laughs> It's not every day, folks, you can catch them on top water. It's just one of those days where everything lined up. We're the only boat on this lake, too. So we got it all for ourselves. It's also noon right now. <laughs> yeah, it is also noon, <laughs> middle of the day, which, you know, you always hear everybody saying, don't throw top water at noon, but we're catching the heck out of them. Just fish your gut more than, more than anything, guys. Fish what you think is going to work, not what somebody tells you is going to work. Oh, he missed it. Oh my gosh. That was a nice one too. That's probably like four pounds or so. Such a good caster. <laughs> I gotta get back in there, dude. They're they're missing it a lot today too, which is weird. Like it's such a big bait that like they shouldn't be missing it this much. It's kind of why it's like fine. You must be really thorough. Yeah. Big and big and big and you might have to power up the main motor. Oh I got him, I got him coming. He's got like the whole entire freaking salad with him, dude. Oh, he's not that. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <sighs> They're wrapped up there. Oh, yeah, he's foul hooked. Oh, God, Sorry, dude. buddy. <sighs> Got him in the side there. They've been missing it a lot today, so. That's actually one of the smaller ones today, guys. The way he blew up on it, he like hit it like sideways. And I thought he done tricked me. Because I know that there's the big ones in here, the 10 pounders, 11 pounders. But still, any fish will take it. Bye. <laughs> you can cast anywhere out here, dude. There's no bad casting spot. They're everywhere. There's just grass. The fish could live literally there, 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 anywhere. You're just not friends with Josh today. And then Josh is mad on YouTube. Maybe back right of it? I. Oh my gosh, dude, I just got hit again. Dude, I need that lure right now. Oh, you got hit again. Got him. Dude, third time, dude. Third strike and I caught him. We are in the freaking sauce. 
Get up here. <laughs> I like how we were netting them and now we're just dragging them. Through. Dude, it's, it's gotten to that point where we've caught so many that we're just confident. All right, there. It's a nice chunky two pounder. He's actually so fat that he has like a mutation here in the side where he's like has a bump. That is so weird. All right, buddy. We'll see ya. You need to work on your target practice and tell your friends to as well. I don't even know how you guys catch real food. These are fake and you still miss them. I don't think I've ever seen it like this, uh, except for when they were chasing like shad out there in the middle. I've never seen it this active out here before. Like uh, as far as like fish blowing up goes. We've had days where we've caught uh, bigger fish and more of them. Like actually the first day we came out here, uh, Josh and I. All right, guys. So what an awesome day on the water. Ugh. <laughs> Can't ask for a better day than that, guys. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below. Josh and I just had a field day on him out there with the frogs. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. I'm worn out. My wrist started to hurt from working that walking bait all day. So I think we're going to go ahead and get a pub sub. It's tradition after we fish this lake. That's it. So until the next fishing adventure, guys, fish bump, I'm out of here.